put in another video. Uh, this video will be on limiting reactants. Not all the exam boards actually require you to do this, but it's good, just a good consensus to have and understand what limiting reactants are in chemistry. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, yeah, it's very simple. It'll probably take a couple of minutes to actually do. So, let's just get straight into it. So, explain what's meant by a limiting reactant and the effect uh, of it on the amount of product on a reactant or on a reaction. So here we have magnesium plus Cl2, let's make energy Cl2. One mole of, usually in the reaction you see one mole of Mg plus half mole, sorry, plus one mole of Cl2, let's make one mole of Mg Cl2. So reactants and products, but if we bonded exactly one mole of Mg and exactly one mole of Cl2, then we did make exactly one mole of uh, Mg Cl2 and we'd have uh, no reactants or products left over. However, in most chemical reactions, it's highly uh, inconvenient or practical to measure reactions as carefully as this. So, we often use uh, more more of one reactant than the other. For example, we use half a mole uh, of Mg plus one mole of CO2 uh, to make one mole MgCO2. Uh, we do this to ensure that all of the Mg like fully reacts. So. By the end of this reaction, you will be left with, uh, yeah, you'll still get your, your MgCl2. You'll be left with 0 0.5, 0 0.5 moles of MgCl2, 0, uh, 0 0.5 moles of Cl2, and no moles of Mg. The, uh, so the one, the, the one that has the least amount of moles, the one that gets fully used up, uh, is the limiting reactant. We call it the limiting reactant because that's the one that gets used up completely. Uh, you have your excess reactant, Cl2. Uh, yeah, it's, it's your excess reactant because that's the one that's still going to be, not all of it's going to be used up. Uh, it'll be used in the reaction, but you have some left over. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, by the end of the reaction, you'll have zero moles of Mg half mole of, of Cl2 and half mole of MgCl2. As the reaction proceeds, all of the uh, Mg gets used up. In a, re in a reaction, we may be asked to, uh, the outcome of the reaction based on which reactants are in excess or limited. So this, if they asked you which ones are in excess, Cl2 is in excess and Mg is the limiting reactant. How many moles of zinc iodide would be produced in 0 0.5 moles of zinc and one mole of iodide? Okay, so yeah, how many moles of zinc iodide would be produced in uh, 0 0.5 moles of zinc and one mole of iodide? Calculate the mass of the product. So it's a simple question here, you write out your reaction. So zinc plus iodine, so Zn plus I2 goes to make Zn I2 or zinc, oxide, uh, zinc iodide. So you'd have or to say zinc iodide would be reduced if in 0 0.5 moles of zinc. So you have 0 0.5 moles of zinc and one mole of iodide. So at the start of your reaction, 0 0.5 moles of, of zinc reacts with one mole of iodide to form essentially one mole of zinc iodide. Should have had one here actually. So after the reactions happened, all of the zinc, because it's your limiting reactant, will get used up. So we have zero moles of zinc, uh, half a mole of uh, iodide, and essentially 0 0.5 moles of zinc iodide. So 0 0.5 moles of zinc here is the limiting reactant because it gets used up. So one that's, the ones that's in less amount will always get used up. Think of it, just think of it like that, really. The one that's the smallest amount will always get used up in a reaction if it's in excess of what you have here, iodide. The question says calculate the mass of the product. So if you have 0 0.5, if you to, to work out mass, or well, you know that moles equals mass over mR. Rearrange the equation, you know, you, you already know how to do that, I'm not gonna do it. Rearrange the equation to get mass, it would be moles times by the mR. Uh, and then you do mass is equal to moles times by the mR which is 0 0.5 times by 319. 
for that and then uh, that equals 159.5 grams important to know that since the uh, excess reactant here so the answer is 159.5 grams but also one thing to know is that iodine has no effect on this reaction since it's an it's in excess therefore the amount of iodine has no effect on the mass of the product there'll be marginal amounts of iodine left uh, over the uh, after the reaction but essentially once this is in excess you don't need really to have to care about it too much because it won't actually affect as long as it's in, ex in excess you won't affect it won't affect your results but your limiting reaction will because it's going to get fully used up How many moles of NAC? Probably can't see this one here. So how many moles of NaCl will be produced in one mole of NaOH and 0 0.25 moles of HCl? Calculate the mass of NaCl produced. All right, so essentially, let's get this done though, actually. So, so your sodium hydroxide plus HCl hydrochloric acid plus make sodium chloride plus water always write out your equation, they won't give it to you all the time. So yes, NaOH plus HCl, uh, NaCl and H2O. I wrote a one here, but in right you wouldn't usually write a one, but uh, just to explain, actually show you what's going on, because usually there is a one, but it's not usually uh, shown. So how many moles of NaCl they want you? So you're trying to find out what this is. Uh, will be produced from one mole of NaOH. So one you have one mole of NaOH here, zero point two five moles of, of HCl. So this is your limiting reaction. That's it. That's your excess reactant. Uh, and then you have uh, calculate the moles of the mass of NaCl. So yeah, once this reaction gets, you, you have zero point, you have one to here, so all a one to one ratio. Uh, on top of that, if all of this is getting used up, then the reaction will stop. At the end of the reaction, you'll have zero point seven five moles of this, zero moles of this, and zero point two five, because zero point two five is taken away. Or is used in this reaction out of all of it, and only so that means that only zero point two five moles will be used here. So whatever your your uh, the limiting reactant is in moles will be your will be added on or will be will be form your product or that's how many moles of product you you form. They said calculate the mass of NaCl, so your mass is same four moles times by mR, zero point two five times by. Uh, 35.5 no 35.5 plus 23 14.65 grams so if it's one decimal place or three significant figures you have 14.6 grams and that's it